fascinating first day of the second Investec test here at Headingley, England, New Zealand. It felt like cricket on speed. Runs, wickets, falls, sixes, drop catches, shies at the stumps. It was fantastic entertainment for a packed house at Headingley. And how did it start for England? Well, but let's see how the Investec test tracker chronicled the day. As I say, it started well for England, putting New Zealand in. Nine for two with the, those two early wickets from Jimmy Anderson here, Williamson and Guptill, and Jimmy taking his 400th wicket. And then you thought there would be lots of wickets for England after that. It was overcast, the ball was moving around. But actually, we saw runs. We saw runs from Ross Taylor. We saw runs from Brendan McCullum. They were taking the attack to the England bowlers. If you just get your length and line slightly wrong on this Headingley pitch, it rushes to the boundary. And the outfield is really fast, so you get full value for your shots. McCullum hit his first ball over extra cover for six. What a start that was. What a statement as well. And got the uh, innings really going again. And they got to about 140. 40 for five and you thought well maybe England can really capitalize here when McCullum got out but actually Luke Ronke came in test match debut you thought he might be a bit nervous 88 from 70 balls he was just hitting good length balls straight back over the bowler's head for four and six and you can see he didn't do much running because in that 88 30% of his runs, 30% of the total, only 18% of the balls faced. 33% of his runs scored in boundaries, so he hit fours and sixes on all sides of the pitch. We can see uh, his wagon wheel here, and lots of these fantastic drives down the ground, shots through extra cover, England straying a little bit width-wise and giving him the chance to play those drives. Then they tried to bounce him out, and he played lots of hook shots. He picked up Moen Alley for two sixes over deep mid-wicket, and one massive Massive six over long on so no one could really stem him and just when he looked like he was going to get a hundred on debut he hooked one down long leg and England perhaps made amends for their ordinary bowling just at the end of the day now let's have a look at the match tracker and you can see England taking an early advantage with those two wickets by Anderson but then it was really fluctuating for much of the day backwards and forwards between the teams runs and wickets until Ronke's effect here which really got England into the the red and New Zealand into the black until he was out and then there was a, a few wickets at the end of the innings uh, and finally when New Zealand just edged close to 300 you'd say they had slightly the better of the day having been put in but I feel with only three frontline bowlers for New Zealand three frontline seamers on a pitch where there's lots of runs if you don't get your line and length quite right I can see England batting well and taking a lead.